Okay, so Miss Chrissy, so tell me how much weight you lost. 36 pounds. 30, I think it was 36 and a half, actually. 36 and a half pounds. Yeah, yeah. So you're happy with the results? <laughs> very, very. So what had spurred you to do this program? Um, I had seen several of my friends that had done the program, and they were keeping the weight off. Yep. And that was the most important thing to me, that um, they did it, and they continued to lose the weight that they needed to, and they kept it off. Was it intimidating when you heard 500 calories was all you'd be able to eat a day? Well, I've, I've studied nutrition in college, yeah. and um, in fact, I have a degree in nutrition, and whenever I started reading the material, it all made a lot of sense. Yeah, good, 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 good. And were there any health issues that you were maybe trying to address? Yes. Um, yeast overgrowth has been a major problem for me for the last 15 years because of some surgeries that I had to undergo. 15 years ago and yeah. it's just been a problem ever since and when I found out that this diet would also address those health problems I was very excited and I'm excited to say that I feel like I'm yeast free right now oh, which is wonderful yeah yeah well you're never yeast free completely because there's always some there but we want to keep the, the bad it, well, yeast. keep yeah the bad yeast, and because uh, the good yeast can change into bad yeast, but also you keep the numbers down and under control. So that's fantastic. And that's, my friends, when I talk to them on the phone now, yeah. they're not sure that they're talking to the same person because before I've for years and years I've had sinus problems right. and very congested sounding, and I don't have that problem. Now. Yeah, and actually that's one of the manifestations of the yeast. Yes. Right, so fungus gets in the sinuses also and makes things swell up, and of course that changes the tenor of your, of your voice. So you said, um, what what kind of changes have you noticed? Right, just as the weight has gone down. Um, I feel like I have more energy, and um, I can. I'm sleeping better. Good. Sleeping through the night better. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to eating good food. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Now, with your background in nutrition, right, coming to my classes, did your definition of good food change? Um, not really. It's just that um, I, in the last several years, not really paying attention to the nutrition aspect of my lifestyle. Right. Um, I've always, I find that I'm, um, the food that I was attracted to before I came to your class was mainly just covered up with sauces and, and you weren't really, I wasn't really getting the real flavor of the food. Right. And it's very exciting with the spices and the simple way to, to prepare food. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm enjoying it. So did you find some new recipes in, through this? I have developed several recipes yeah. that I'm excited about that I've been sharing with my friends. Good, good, good. Uh, were there any hiccups along the way? Any obstacles? Did you run into any yes. problems? Yes. Um, about three weeks into the program, I broke out in a, a, a yeast rash right. all over my body. Right. And I was miserable for about four or five days. Yeah. And when you explained to me what that was all about, and it was my body detoxing, um, I was able to get through it. But I was, I was afraid I was going to be scarred from it because my arms felt like sandpaper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they cleared up and my skin has really cleared up. My Thanks. complexion's cleared up a lot. Yeah, we definitely find that. that uh, and when the body gets healthy, the whole body gets healthy, right? So not... Only does your cholesterol and blood sugar and so forth improve, but your skin improves, your hair improves, right? Your attitude improves. Well, I was going to say, I just feel happy. Yeah. I feel happy. Right. And, and, and it's not a, uh, you know, sickness kind of sneaks up on you, and you probably didn't feel before, I don't know, you know, that you felt terrible. But once you get to start feeling good again, I mean, it's you look back. I wasn't feeling great. Yeah. And I... Uh, feel like I was probably a bit irritable at work and um, just and I wasn't able to sleep good either. Uh-huh. So you know inside your heart when something's not right. And right. Things were not right. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So did you have any problems with hunger? 
Um, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in the mornings, I have a little, there's just a little like 30 or 45 minute period in the mornings when I feel like I'm hungry. Yep. And then I sip some coffee and I'm fine. And it goes away. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I find. Uh, a program you'd recommend for your friends? Absolutely. I, I feel like I've got to contain myself so that I don't <laughs> verbally throw up all over everybody because I just want to tell everybody about it. Yeah, good, good. Any cautions that you would recommend for people or, or some people that you would not recommend it to? Uh, the caution that I would recommend is do not veer off the program. Right. Stay with the program and it will be successful. Great, great, great. All right, well, thanks a lot for participating. Thank you. <laughs>